almost three years since making the promise of bringing Adamson a championship for the first time since 1977, coach Franz Pumeran expresses his disappointment of not fulfilling it. However, the coach can be proud that he turned a cellar dweller of the UWAP in previous years to a respected squad as he turned no names to rising stars of the collegiate circuit since taking over the job in December. 2015. Pumeran, a decorated championship coach with De La Salle University in the early to mid-2000s, has taken the Falcons to the final four thrice, however each time ending in heartbreak. That's why I mentioned I was disappointed. If you look at the overall scenario, what I had already accomplished is an achievement. But like what I mentioned, I'm not a non-conformist individual, shared the veteran coach. But you have to look at it, at the other side of the coin. You have to look at the direction. We almost made it this year, but along the road we got sabotaged. Pumran also shared how Adamson has become a destination for players who are trying to prove themselves, including almost hero Jerem Lastimosa, who hit a couple of big shots in the team's 89-87 overtime loss against the up fighting Maroons Wednesday evening. We can make the most out of our recruits. I think Lastimos is gonna be valuable, his name is gonna be mentioned and will always be in the conversation, Pumran said. As Sean Manganti had already played his final game with the Falcons, the 54-year-old mentor discussed his pride in seeing the film forwards game blossomed from a high leaper to one of the more all-around swingmen in the league. Pumran also fired a shot of the team's non-believers. Those basketball experts that won't think we accomplished something, they're just being hypocrites. I was right that we're just like a startup company who already gained some dividends. Our stock went up. So I guess it's a big improvement. It's a testament to our program.